It's William Hall from ImprovGames.com. You know, when I first started collecting games when we started bats back in the mid-1980s, it was so exciting. Finding a new game was like finding a whole new world of possibilities. Um, oops, let's not get killed here. So, I thought I would share with you one of the games we found back then that was impossible. So many constraints and so many limitations, it's impossible to do. In fact, that's what we named it. We named it the impossible game. Bum, bum, bum. Right, so here, here are the restrictions. Enjoy this. First of all, you get an activity from the audience, something that multiple people can do. I don't know, yard work, uh, building a barn, and everyone on stage in the scene has to participate in that activity. They can't stop. Here are the restrictions. You cannot talk about the activity. You cannot ask questions, and you cannot use these three words. I'll stop for dramatic effect. You can't use these three words, I, me, or my. Now, that creates some real problems. How can you do a scene without questions, without talking about the activity, without I, me, my? Well, it became fun. Uh, I don't think it's one of those games you play very often, quite frankly, because it's kind of just very, what sometimes in the improv world we call this a, a hoop game, just a lot of hoops. But uh, it can be fun to work with constraints. When you cross the street, when you say where you are, who's in charge of that? Okay, play on. More games coming, if I survive. Ha <laughs> ha!